सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल द टेक कोडर्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन नंबर 1932 ए ऑफ कोड फोर्सेस राउंड 927 डिवीजन 3 ओके द नेम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज थॉन्स एंड कॉइंस सो लेट अस सपोज दैट दिस इज जस्ट अ बेसिक गेम्स ओके हियर इट इज गिवन दैट वी कैन हैव अ वन जंप और अ टू जंप एट द सेम टाइम ओके एंड इन बिटवींस वी आर हैविंग कॉइंस और अ एम्प्टी फील्ड और द थॉन्स okay and as soon as we are jumping in a thorn the game is going to get eliminated and the output will be the total number of coins which we have collected so far okay so over here as you can see that th this is the initial place this is the starting position so you jump first you got this coin you jump secondly you got the second coin and see if you if you would have taken the first jump there are thorns so the game would got, would have got eliminated the game would have got end okay so instead of taking one jump you took two jumps okay and then from here you jump directly to here and you collected this coin also now the number of coins which you are having is 3 so now see over here if you would have taken directly 2 jumps you are landing in a thorn if you would have taken 1 jump and then again 2 jumps you are, di you are directly jumping on a thorn okay eventually your game is going to get over okay and at the end of the day how much coins you are having 1, 2 and 3 okay so let's go and understand this with the help of an example okay so these are the two examples which we are going to consider over here okay so let us suppose that initially you are over here okay this is the empty field so you had taken a one jump and you collected this coin okay plus one then you took one jump and you collected plus one okay then if you take one jump or if you take two jumps no issues okay eventually you are going to take this coin plus one jump now see if if you will take one jump from here your game is going to get end and if you will take two jumps from here your game is going to get end so it's of no use to consider further things okay what will be my answer my answer is going to be three simple and for here you can see that till here it is the same till here it is the same i'm just having this for the sake of understanding okay i know the answer over here my answer is three for this case okay but now see Beyond this point, beyond this point, you are having further more coins. But what is given in the question? When you are lending on a thorn, your game is going to get eliminated. Okay, your game is going to get end. So I want the number of coins I collected till here. Till here. Because my game is getting ended over here. So I want the number of coins till here. Okay. So after seeing this example, can we say that yeah, when whenever we'll have thorns in two consecutive places now whenever i'm going to have thorns in two consecutive places it's impossible for me to move further it's impossible for me to move further see this example if you will take one jump you will be landing in a thorn if you will take two jumps you will be landing in a thorn okay there is no possible ways from here you can reach here okay so can we say that let's do one thing we'll make use of for loop okay and we'll try to see of which index there are two thorns two consecutive thorns okay and how we how can we check that let us suppose that this is a so what i'll do i'll do this if a of i is equals to a of i plus one and a of i is equal to simply this asterisk okay and if this is the case what i'll do i'll store this in a variable i'll store this is in a variable okay and then again I'll iterate from i is equals to 0 to i is equals to till. Okay. I'll keep on checking if I'm having this at the rate that is the coins or not. Then I'll be having the coin like this. If a of i is equals to at the rate. What I'll do? I'll just increment my answer at that time. I'll just increment my answer in that time. At the, and at the end of the day, I'll simply print my answer out. Okay. I'll simply print my answer. Okay. So this is my approach. And now let's see the code okay so see initially we are having the length of the string so i take an n as an input then there is a string s i took its input then i declare two variable the first one is still that is the n okay and answer is zero why till n because see in this example in this example i am iterating till end i am iterating till end or let us suppose that we would be having like this we would be having at the rate over here so we are going to get we are going to collect all these four coins then eventually we are going to jump out of this lawn okay so that's why first to iterate the entire thing 
we initially give till as n okay and answer is zero so we are doing the same thing as i said just a few seconds before for int i is equals to zero i is less than n minus one and i plus plus if s of i is equals to asterisk and s of i is equals to s of i plus one till is equals to i and then we are breaking it out why n minus one because i am comparing s i with s i plus one if i do this that is i less than n then there will be error index out of bond okay so now what i said that again i'll iterate from i is equals to zero till till variable that is i is less than or equal to till and what i'll do i'll check if i'm having at the rate or not when i'll be having at the rate i'll just increment my answer and after coming out of this loop i'll simply print it out okay so this was the solution guys it's a very simple question i hope you got all the concepts and the logic and the intuitions behind it okay so thank you for watching and have a good day guys